Canis Libero. Uh, today we're putting the final touches on our zombie apocalypse sword scabbard. Uh, we've got another brass, or brass, I'm sorry, I keep saying that because I'm used to working in brass. Another copper fitting. It's just a regular three quarter inch copper fitting and we've crushed it down into an oval so it'll fit onto our scabbard and we've rounded the ends just like we did for the sword. And we rounded it on this spike here and with a small peening hammer. It doesn't take a lot of pressure uh, to uh, shape copper. And now this will act as our cap on our scabbard. So now our scabbard will be capped, it'll look nice. Our next step will be to drill a hole in this piece of copper, run some red 550 cord through it. We're gonna run it down here and we'll put a notch in the PVC end of the scabbard. We'll tie a knot because our scabbard runs a little bit longer than the sword, so the knot will be safe. We won't cut it with our sword when we're putting it in here. And uh, so the two strands will run down here. And we'll put the cap back on. And with these two strands here, we'll have a similar appearance to the sword where we had the two red strands running down each side of the handle. We'll be able to braid in uh, some more 550 cords so that'll give us cordage. It'll give us a good length of cordage. If we want to wrap this whole thing, we probably could get 50 foot of 550 cord on here, um, which would give us a ton of cordage. And if we go to even stronger 550 cord than we've been using, actually some significant lifting power. It could actually uh, serve you in a, in a pretty serious emergency. Otherwise, it'd be great for building shelters, tying things. Just having cordage is very useful um, if you ever are trying to make it through a zombie apocalypse and you need to set up a temporary shelter or something. Um, you could even use it for climbing if you use the stronger stuff to a limited degree. Um, I wouldn't recommend it though because man, 550 burns on your hands would be a serious setback. But the cordage will be here, it will be useful, and we can use that cordage to set how our, uh, to uh, change how we carry this. Um, we could go ahead and pull off some of that cordage and and make a back sling so we can wear our sword on our back. We can wear it on our side, we can hang it, we just stick it in our belt. We'll have a lot of options because of the way we're doing this. Um, so come along with us and uh, enjoy the ride. We're doing some interesting stuff today and uh, the project's finally coming together. Um, we're not gonna spend a tremendous amount of time on the copper, polishing it up, shining it. We can do that, um, but really we've spent a lot of time on the blade. It's functional. Uh, now we're just trying to finish the project because, you know, based on the screams I'm hearing in the background the last couple of days, the zombie apocalypse is in full swing outside. So um, we, need to, we need to get this done so we can join in and, and, and take on some zombies. Thanks for watching. So here's our scabbard and our sword. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do a test fitting now with the copper on board. So now we've got copper cap, copper cap, both manufactured by us. PVC scabbard, PVC handle, wrapped. Uh, we will soon be wrapping this, so we'll get much more of a match here. Um, and that will definitely uh, make the entire package look a lot nicer. Um, so we're going to have ourselves a functional zombie apocalypse sword. So what I'm doing right now is uh, we're going to go ahead and set up to drill the hole to run our 550 cord. Uh, the reason we're drilling this hole here is that the uh, 550 cord, uh, looping through this and then attaching to the bottom of the scabbard, will hold this cap on. We don't have to glue it, we don't have to fix it any other way. Plus it gives us the cordage we want and uh, doesn't make it impossible to take off. Sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on this to get things lubricated. I hope you don't hold it against me. I was gonna go ahead and uh, use my uh, my hand drill, but I decided, you know what, I own all these battery powered tools. 
I think in the first days of the zombie apocalypse, I'm still going to have access to them. So I'm going to use the power drill instead of the hand drill because hand cranking this, it's doable, but it's not as much fun and it's not as easy. Uh, we do always have that option though. Let's drill out the hole. All right, so we're taking off the cap that we made. And this is just a regular PVC cap that fits our PVC. And we didn't crush this end of the PVC. We left it round and we ran it about two inches longer than we needed in the scabbard. Um, for me, that makes a comfortable walking stick length. I could actually use this as a walking stick if I wanted to. Um, so that just was my thinking on it is like, yeah, there might come a point where I want to use this as a walking stick, hurt myself, whatever else. Um, that's the goal. So I left this end round for that reason. And then this end we kind of ovaled a little bit just so that it would match up with our handle a bit. So what we're going to do is on the face side, this is our face side, we've chosen this is the face side. We're going to go ahead and uh, set this right here. You can see, got a whole bunch of files lying here right now. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and notch this. get it started with something that's a little sharper. Kind of, uh. Alright, so what that's given us is two nice little notches. As you'll be able to see here, it gave us two nice little notches where we'll tie knots in the uh, 550 cord and it'll hook right in there. And uh, that will give us our uh, our uh, compression for the uh, copper cap so the copper cap can't fall off because it's going to have two tight strands running to here. We may pack a little bit of extra uh, 550 cord in here so if we ever need to take this off and use it for fishing line or something we have that option as well. So we've got our scabbard, notches are made, cap still fits on nicely, our other cap still fits on nicely and we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm not going to show you everything on this. Um, you know, we'll probably what we'll do is uh, when we uh, tie the length of this, we're going to use the same knot that we did on the handle. And so you'll be able to copy uh, that knot uh, by watching the handle video, okay? Um, because some of these videos get really long. I'm trying to limit uh, what we show you, but show you the things that are kind of repetitious in each video so you can pick it up in different places. How we tied the knot, we kind of covered our knots in the handle process. And so uh, I'll show you what's different up here, what we're doing here that's different, but I'm not gonna show you uh, the lacing of the whole scabbard. Uh, you'll see the finished product, but you won't get to see uh, every, every little. Got our 550 cord here and uh, it's laid out. So what we're gonna need to do now is uh, Go ahead and cut it. For that, we'll pull out our handy dandy pocket knife. Um, so, I expect most of you carry something similar, uh, and therefore, it is a tool that you will have during the zombie apocalypse. Uh, what we're going to need to do though is we're going to heat heat this stuff up, and since we have our propane torch available, we're going to go and heat it up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and seal up the ends of our 550 over here. So we've sealed the ends on our 550. We've got our loop. I'm going to go ahead and push it through. Now, this, this copper cap is actually uh, A little bit loose on the scabbard. It doesn't rattle, but it is a little bit loose, and that's going to allow us to put it on with this 550 cord running through the hole. All right, so we've got our two strands. Pull our cap off, and then the goal here is 550 has a little bit of stretch to it. So what we're going to do is we want to tie our knot so that it stretches and locks in here, kind of like an arrow or a bow string hooks on its knot. We want to get some tension on it because we're also going to use this as our anchor loom, right? So we want it to be a little bit snug. So we tie a knot, 
slip it through our hoop or through our, our notch there. And we'll just tuck in the extra. Because like I said, we've got an extra two inches on this thing. Get the next knot going. And make sure I get it close to the end, but not too tight. There we go. So that goes on just like that. And now, got a nice band of red running across the blue background. And once we start weaving this in with our blue uh, 550 cord, it's going to have a really nice look. Last step will be to uh, replace the plug. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, drive that on and, uh, and that will anchor this. In this case, we're, gonna, we're actually going to drive it on, so I don't plan to take this apart. It, you can take it apart, uh, but it's not really uh, the plan uh, that we have. Now we've got our 550 cord on here. We could use that as our catch. We could actually slide this through our belt and hold it as an anchor, but we're going to go ahead and braid in some 550 cord, which will give this a really cool look. So uh, stick with us for the completion of that. I'm not going to film the whole braiding process because it's going to take a good hour. Um, and I've already showed you how we uh, braided in uh, past videos. So I'm going to leave this. Uh, this one off the video. It's going to be up to you guys to uh, go back to the handle video to see how we braided the handle. So, finished wrapping the scabbard. Went ahead and threw in a little bit of extra red weave in the middle. Um, I think it makes it look a lot nicer. I, like, I just generally think that looks prettier. Um, I'll give you a close up on it, but here's our zombie apocalypse sword in the scabbard works. Function, we can anchor this in our belt. Got the old samurai look if we want. We can uh, fish out this extra uh, 550 cord and uh, use it to bind it tight to a belt or uh, make a back strap. Uh, it's going to be a very effective scabbard. The scabbard's nice and padded and covered. And no, no real serious rattling. So it's a uh, Looking really good. So I'm going to do a quick run by on the camera so you can take a look at it. So as you can see, it's really nice. I mean, even front and back. Remember, we have the dip in the back. And it wasn't perfectly shaped because we did it with our fingers and, and with, you know, we weren't using any real molding tools. But the overall look is now quite fantastic. I mean, it looks fit and finished. So I'd say we've really accomplished what we were shooting for here. Uh, really proud of this. Looks great. The finish looks nice. Um, you know, be proud to carry this. And... It'll be functional. It will work in the zombie apocalypse. Really happy with what the overall uh, success here. So, I hope you've uh, hope you enjoyed um, watching our zombie apocalypse sword videos.